is now still a good time to invest in short-term rentals in the Pocono Mountains? If you want to hear my answer, then make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. What's going on guys? My name is Sean Connors. I'm a real estate investor here in the Pocono Mountains as well as Greater Philadelphia. And today we're talking about, is it still a good idea to invest in short-term rentals in the Pocono Mountains? And if you polled all of the investors up here, I guarantee they would all say something different. But I'm going to give you my personal opinion on, is it still a good time to invest in the Pocono Mountains? in short-term rentals, right? With everything that's going on, with inflation being so incredibly high, with interest rates being high, with the prices of homes still rising in some areas, not all areas in the Poconos though. So let's jump right into it. I will say that investing in the Poconos comes with its challenges, just like investing anywhere. Vacation rentals are much different when inflation happens, right? A lot of people, they will cut back on extra spending for vacations, right? If the cost of gas is extremely high, the cost of groceries are very high, the cost of everything else in your life is really high, what are you gonna do to save money? You're probably not going to vacation as much. So that means that places like the Pocono Mountains are going to be affected for that short-term rental. That doesn't mean that people aren't going to still vacation, I'm just saying that more people will start to cut back and they cut back on vacation. So that's something that you have to take into account. For me personally, we purchased two properties within a year of each other. They were both doing well. And when the beginning of this year happened, we had noticed that one of our properties was not doing as well as the other one. Couldn't figure out why. And then eventually I started doing my research and understanding that you really have to stand out in the Poconos. If you wanna own an investment up here, you really have to do something that makes that property stand out. And we just didn't do that with this property, right? We were riding on the coattails of coming out of 2022, thinking that, you know, we were just going to be able to get by and cash flow a little bit, but honestly, we weren't putting enough into it. And that actually caused us to sell the property. So we're currently on the contract right now to sell that property because I have learned, I have made mistakes. And now I'm at a point where I know for the most part what works in the area in the, in the Poconos that I invest in. And that's what I wanna keep doing. And I personally am going to start focusing on four, five, six bedroom properties because I've noticed that those properties, there's less of them, but there's a lot of demand for them. Because when inflation is high, like it is right now, and a family, right, of four, three, four, five people, they might cut back on vacations. But if they decide to go on that vacation in the winter to hit the slopes, they're gonna vacation possibly with other extended family, other friends, right? And you can pull together two or three families and it's much more affordable to go on vacation. So I think that in this market, it makes sense to go towards what is in demand. And I believe that four or five and six bedroom properties are in demand. So do I still think it's a good time to invest in the Poconos? Yes, I always think it's a good time to invest in real estate. But my message to you is make sure that if, if you're deciding to buy here, that you do it right. Do your research, look into the areas, right? And I've made so many videos about the Poconos and the different HOAs and the different townships and how none of them are in sync. Everyone has their own rules. Rules are always changing. You know, I'm very fortunate with where I am because it seems like the rules have been very good for us recently. We haven't had much complaints. Like when I was first buying, there was meetings all the time. And now we have liaisons between the short-term rentals, uh, the long-term owners in the property and the board of directors, right? So we're actually doing it right. And that makes me very happy and optimistic about the future of investing here. And I'll say to you is make sure you're doing your due diligence. I do think you can be successful. I do think that you can make money still but it's not going to be what you heard in the past one, two, and three years, right? You're not going to, for the most part, right? I can never say for 100% certainty, but if you're buying a three, two, uh, 1,500 square foot home in a community on a quarter of an acre to a half acre of land, like a lot of people have that. A lot of people have that kind of property. So unless yours is something extremely unique, like a, an A-frame or a log cabin, you're probably not going to do as well as if you can find something that's a little bit bigger that can cash flow a little more it can sleep more people which gives you more average nightly rent 
you know, those are the things that I think that you should really consider if you're deciding to buy in the Poconos. I will be here for a long time because I believe in it. I love coming up here myself. Our family enjoys coming up here ourselves. So that's why we're going to continue here, but we're really focusing on improving this property that I'm in right now. This is going to be our only one for, for a short amount of time, maybe even you know three, four, five, six months before we decide to buy again. But we're gonna do everything that we can to optimize this property. Optimization is, in my opinion, the best idea. There's a guy out there, Bill Faith, He's an amazing short-term rental owner, and he talks about creating super properties. And that's what we're focusing on, creating super properties, having the best amenities that we can have in this house so that people wanna come here over and over and over again. So I hope you found some value from that video. If you wanna talk more, if you have any questions or you're looking to buy up here, you know you can always click that link below, schedule an appointment with me. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Have an awesome day.